Hello everyone, now let us discuss about CPT coding guidelines for surgery. In surgery, we are discussing about integumentary system part 2A. In the current session, we will be focusing on breast and the code range is 19000 to 19499. 19,000 to 19,499. Now, what are all the topics that we are going to cover in the breast? The first is breast biopsy procedures. The next is percutaneous image guided placement of breast localization devices and then mastectomy procedures and finally repair and or, or reconstruction. In this session, we will be discussing about the first three topics that is breast biopsy procedures, percutaneous image guided placement of breast localization device and mastectomy procedures. In part 2b, we will be focusing on repair and reconstruction. Now coming to the various CPTs, the first CPT is 1900, which is given to indicate puncture aspiration of cyst of breast. For puncture aspiration of cyst of breast, you need to report 1900. And the next is an add-on code plus 19001, which is given for each additional cyst. The next code is 19020, which is nothing but mastotomy with exploration or drainage of abscess deep. So what is mastotomy? Mastotomy is incision of breast. The root word masto indicates breast, whereas otomy indicates cutting or making an incision into. So whenever otomy will come, there you need to indicate or you need to consider that it is an incision, cutting or making an incision into. Ostomy means to removal. Otomy means opening or cutting or making an incision. So 19020 is the code given for mastotomy with exploration or drainage of abscess deep. The next code is 19030. Injection procedure only for mammary ductogram or galactogram. Now coming to breast biopsy procedures. Breast biopsy can be performed either percutaneously or by an open approach. Breast biopsy can be performed either percutaneously or with an open approach. Percutaneous breast biopsies can use image guidance or they cannot use. That is the percutaneous breast biopsy can be coded with image guidance and without image guidance. Now coming to the types of open approach biopsies. It can be either open incisional breast biopsy or open excision of breast lesion. These two come under the open approach. Now coming to percutaneous image guided breast biopsies. Percutaneous image guided breast biopsies include the placement of breast localization device when performed. So these percutaneous image guided breast biopsies, they may include, they can be performed either with placement of breast localization device or without placement of breast localization device. So whenever the percutaneous image guided breast biopsies are done along with placement of breast localization devices, these codes must be reported additionally which come under the series 19081, 19082, 19083, 84, 85 and 86. Now coming to, as the name indicates, percutaneous image guided breast biopsies. Image guidance is included in the code description itself. So whenever we are performing percutaneous image guided breast biopsies, Codes such as 76098, which is nothing but radiological examination surgical specimen, 76942, which is nothing but ultrasonic guidance for needle placement, that is biopsy, aspiration, injection, or localization device, image supervision and interpretation, and similarly 77022, which is nothing but fluoroscopic guidance for needle placement, and 77021 which is nothing but MR imaging, magnetic resonance imaging guidance for needle placement. 
all these imaging codes may not be separately reported for the same lesion. Whenever percutaneous image guided breast biopsies are performed, all the imaging codes may, may not be separately reported for the same lesion. This is the ground rule. Now coming to various scenarios of percutaneous breast biopsies. So let us discuss the various scenarios when more than one percutaneous breast biopsy, which is nothing but PBB. PBB is nothing but percutaneous breast biopsy is performed. So when more than one percutaneous breast biopsy, when more than one PBB is performed using same imaging modality, that is, for example, two PBBs are performed using ultrasound imaging modality, then an add-on code must be used for additional services on the same or contralateral breast. For the second PBB, you need to use the add-on code for ultrasound guided PBB. And the second scenario is when more than one PBB is performed using different imaging modalities. Here, for example, two percutaneous breast biopsies are performed. One is performed using ultrasound. The other percutaneous breast biopsy is performed using magnetic resonance imaging. In that case, you need to use the primary code for each additional biopsy. If two are performed, one primary code for ultrasound and one primary code for MR guidance must be reported in this case. If two percutaneous breast biopsies are performed using different imaging modalities. Use the primary code for each additional biopsy. The next scenario is how shall we report bilateral percutaneous breast biopsy. In order to report the bilateral percutaneous breast biopsy, first report 19081 or 19083 or 19085 for the initial biopsy. Then the contralateral and each additional breast image guided biopsy is given by the add-on codes 19082, 19084 and 19086. And whenever percutaneous breast biopsy is performed without imaging guidance, it is given by the code 19100. Percutaneous breast biopsy without imaging guidance is given by the code 19100. Now coming to next, open incisional breast biopsy. As we have discussed earlier, the breast biopsy can be percutaneous or via open approach. In open approach, the first one is open incisional breast biopsy. It is given by the code 19101. It does not include the image guidance. The open incisional breast biopsy does not include the image guidance. If open incisional breast biopsy is performed after image guided placement of localization device. If open incisional breast biopsy is performed after the image guided placement of localization device appropriate image guided localization device placement codes which are given in the range 192812823182283192842825 may also be reported additionally so whenever open incisional breast biopsy is performed after the image guided placement of breast localization device in addition to 19101, you need to report the codes from the series 192812192288. The next procedure is percutaneous cryosurgical ablation. Percutaneous cryosurgical ablation. Cryo means to freeze. Ablation nothing but involves freezing of target tissues. So, percutaneous cryosurgical ablation of fibroadenoma is given by the code 19105 and it includes the ultrasound guidance and therefore 76940 which is nothing but ultrasound guidance for and monitoring of parenchymal tissue ablation and similarly 76942 which is nothing but ultrasound guidance for needle placement. 
image supervision and interpretation may not be reported separately along with 19101. So, along with 19105, you should not report 76940 and 76942 because the code description itself 19105 which is nothing but percutaneous cryoablation of fibroadenoma including ultrasound guidance is given in the code description itself. So you need not report additionally the imaging guidance codes for 19105 and reported this code 19105 is reported only once per cryo probe insertion site even if several adjacent lesions are ablated. 19105 is reported only once per cryoprobe insertion site even if several adjacent lesions are ablated. Now one more important point is in order to report bilateral procedures you need to append 50 modifier along with the procedure code. So, to report the bilateral procedures for all below procedures, report 50 modifier with the procedure code. The first procedure is 19100, which is nothing but biopsy of breast, percutaneous needle code not using image guidance. So, whenever bilateral biopsy of breast percutaneous is performed, you need to give 19100 along with 50 modifier. And similarly, whenever biopsy of breast open incisional is performed bilaterally, then you need to indicate 19101 along with 50 modifier. And similarly, 19105, which is nothing but ablation, cryosurgical of fibroadenoma, including ultrasound guidance, each fibroadenoma. Even that also for bilateral procedure, you need to append 50 modifier along with the procedure 19105. And similarly, 19100, which is nothing but nipple exploration with or without excision of solitary lactiferous duct or papilloma of lactiferous duct and similarly 19122 excision of lactiferous duct fistula the next is 19120 which is nothing but excision of cyst fibroadenoma or other benign or malignant tumor abrad, aberrant breast tissue duct lesion nipple or alveolar lesion open male or female one or more lesions so, for excision of cyst or fibroadenoma or any benign or malignant tumor or any aberrant breast tissue or duct lesion, nipple or alveolar lesion for open, either it is male or female breast for one or more lesions. In all these scenarios, you need to report only 19120. And whenever bilateral procedure is done, for excision of cyst or fibroadenoma or benign or malignant tumor, you need to append modifier 50 along with the procedure 19120. Now coming to various CPTs. The first CPT is 19081, which is nothing but biopsy breast with placement of breast localization device when performed and imaging of biopsy specimen when performed, percutaneous, first lesion including stereotactic guidance so here the percutaneous breast biopsy is performed along with the placement of breast localization devices so additionally you need to report the breast localization device codes whenever they are performed the next is an add-on code plus 19082 that is nothing but biopsy breast with the placement of breast localization device when performed and imaging of biopsy specimen when performed percutaneous each additional lesion including the stereotactic guidance. The next is 19083 biopsy breast with placement of breast localization device when performed and imaging of biopsy specimen when performed percutaneous first lesion including ultrasound guidance. The first CPT is including stereotactic guidance whereas 19083 is nothing but percutaneous breast biopsy along with the placement of breast localization device when performed using ultrasound guidance. 
The next is an add-on code plus 19084, which is given for each additional lesion, including the ultrasound guidance. The next is 19085, which is given by biopsy breast with placement of localization device when performed and imaging guidance of biopsy specimen when performed percutaneous first lesion, including magnetic resonance guidance. For percutaneous breast biopsy with the magnetic resonance guidance along with the placement of breast localization device. In this scenario, the appropriate CPT is 19085. Plus 19086 is an add-on code for biopsy breast with the placement of localization device when performed, including Imaging of biopsy specimen when performed percutaneous each additional lesion including magnetic resonance guidance. The next CPT is 19100 which is nothing but biopsy of breast percutaneous needle core not using imaging guidance. The next is 19101 which is nothing but biopsy of breast open incision. The next CPT is 19105, which is nothing but ablation cryosurgical of fibroadenoma, including ultrasound guidance, each fibroadenoma. The next is 19110, which is nothing but nipple exploration with or without excision of a solid, solitary lactiferous duct or papilloma lactiferous duct. The next is 19112, which is nothing but excision of lactiferous duct fistula. The next is 19120. Excision of cyst, fibroadenoma or other benign or malignant tumor, aberrant breast tissue, duct lesion, nipple or alveolar lesion, open, male or female breast, one or more lesions. In all these cases, you need to report 19120. Next code is 19125, which is nothing but excision of breast lesion identified by preoperative placement of radiological marker open single lesion excision of breast lesion identified by preoperative placement of radiological marker open single lesion the next is an add-on code plus 19126 which is nothing but excision of breast lesion identified by preoperative placement of radiological marker open each additional lesion Now let us discuss an example. A wire placement in lower outer aspect of right breast was done by the radiologist the day prior to this procedure. Wire placement in the lower outer aspect of right breast was done by radiologist the day prior to the procedure. During this operative session, Surgeon created an incision through the wire track and the wire track was followed down to its entrance into the breast tissue. A nodule of breast tissue was noted. Nodule. Nodule of breast tissue was noted immediately adjacent to the wire. The entire area was excised by sharp dissection, sent to pathology and returned as a benign lesion. Here, a benign lesion is identified by preoperative placement. That is nothing but because of the placement of wire track. They could identify a nodule which was diagnosed as benign lesion. The bleeders were catheterized and subcutaneous tissue was closed with 3-0 Vicry. Skin edges were approximately approximated with 4 to 0 subcuticular sutures and adhesive strips were applied. The patient left the operating room in satisfactory condition. What should be the correct code for the surgeon's device? Here, a wire placement in the lower outer aspect of right breast was done by radiologist the day prior to the procedure. And during that procedure, operative session, the surgeon created an incision through wire track and wire track was followed down to its entrance into the breast tissue. During this operative session, that is nothing but a nodule of breast was noticed and it was immediately excised. So the appropriate CPT is 19125 and here laterality 
is indicated by RT modifier. RT is nothing but indicated that the procedure was done on right breast. Here, out, lower outer aspect of right breast. So, in, ad, in order to indicate the laterality of the breast, RT modifier is given. So, 19125 with RT modifier. Excision of breast lesion identified by preoperative placement of radiological marker open single lesion. So, the appropriate CPT for this scenario is 19125 along with RT modifier. Now, coming to next topic that is introduction. Introduction is nothing but percutaneous image guided placement of breast localization device without image guided biopsies. Placement of breast localization device without image guided biopsies. Now, the percutaneous image guided placement of breast localization device without image guided biopsies are reported by CPTs 19281, 19282, 283, 284, 285, 286, 287, and 288. When an open breast biopsy or open excision of breast lesion Whenever open breast biopsy or open excision of breast lesion is performed after image guided percutaneous placement of localization device, appropriate image guided placement of localization device codes must be used. So, whenever in simple words, whenever placement of breast localization device is done in all those cases, whether it is with the percutaneous biopsy or with an open biopsy or with an open incision of breast lesion. In all these cases, appropriate codes for placement of breast localization device codes must be added. And the next code is 19294 is used to report the preparation of tumor cavity with the placement of an intraoperative radiation therapy applicator concurrent with partial mastectomy that is either given by 19301 or 19302. Code 19294 indicates preparation of tumor cavity with placement of intraoperative radiation therapy applicator concurrent with the partial mastectomy. The next codes are 19296, 19297 and 19298. They describe the placement of radiotherapy catheters, which are nothing but afterloading expandable or afterloading black brachytherapy catheters into the breast for interstitial radio element application, either concurrently or on separate date from the partial mastectomy procedure. So, in all these codes, 19296, 19297, and 19298. They describe the placement of radiotherapy catheters. And in all these codes, image guidance is included. And additionally, image guidance codes need not be reported along with 19296, 19297 and 19298. Now, let us discuss the various scenarios for placement of breast localization devices. LDP is nothing but localization device placement and IGB is nothing but image guided biopsy. So, let us discuss about the various scenarios where placement of breast localization is done without image guided biopsy. So, when more than one localization device placement is done without image guided biopsy is performed using same imaging modality. When more than one LDP is done without IGB, Using same imaging modality, add-on code must be used for additional service on same or contralateral breast. Because here same imaging modality is used. Whenever placement of breast localization is done without image guided biopsy, when more than one placement of breast localization device is done, using same imaging modality then add on code for that particular imaging modality must be given for each additional breast localization device procedure 
either it can be on the same breast or contralateral breast the next cpt is next scenario is more than one localization device placement without image guided biopsy is performed using different imaging modalities here for each imaging modality you need to use the appropriate primary code the next is how should we report bilateral local localization device placement codes so in order to report bilateral localization device placement without image guided biopsy first you need to report 19281 19283 19285 or 19287 for the initial lesion localized and then for contralateral and each additional localization device placement is reported by add on codes 19282 19284 and 19286 and 19288 now coming to various codes 19281 which is given by placement of breast localization device percutaneous first lesion including mammographic guidance the next is an add on code 19282 placement of breast localization device percutaneous each additional lesion including mammographic guidance the next is 19283 placement of breast localization device percutaneous first lesion including stereotactic guidance the next is an add on code placement plus 19284 which is nothing but placement of breast localization device percutaneous each additional lesion including stereotactic guidance The next is 19285, which is nothing but placement of breast localization device percutaneous first lesion, including ultrasound guidance. The next is an add-on code plus 19286, which is nothing but placement of breast localization device percutaneous each additional lesion, including ultrasound guidance. The next is 19287, placement of breast localization device percutaneous first lesion, including magnetic resonance guidance. The next is add-on code plus 19288, which is nothing but placement of breast localization device percutaneous each additional lesion, including magnetic resonance. The next is 19294. 19294 is nothing but it is an add-on code which indicates preparation of tumor cavity with the placement. of a radiation therapy applicator for intraoperative radiation therapy concurrent with partial mastectomy it must be given with partial mastectomy codes as an add on code whenever tumor cavity is prepared with the placement of radiation therapy applicator the next code is 19296 which is given by placement of radiotherapy after loading expandable catheter into breast for interstitial radio element application following partial mastectomy includes imaging guidance on date or separate from the partial mastectomy the next is an add on code plus 19297 which is nothing but placement of radiotherapy catheter into the breast for interstitial radio element application concurrently with the partial mastectomy the previous code can be on separate date from partial mastectomy the next is concurrently with the partial mastectomy so it must be added along with partial mastectomy codes plus 19297 the next is 19298 placement of radiotherapy after loading brachytherapy catheters the previously it was after loading expandable catheter 19296 is placement of radiotherapy after loading expandable catheter whereas 19298 is placement of radiotherapy after loading brachytherapy catheters into breast for interstitial radio element application following partial mastectomy including image guidance 
Now coming to next topic, mastectomy procedures. So what is the word mastectomy indicate? As we have discussed earlier, the root word masto means breast. So ectomy indicates surgical removal of a specified part of the body. Ectomy indicates surgical removal of specified part of the body. So mastectomy means surgical removal of breast. Now coming to the various guidelines for mastectomy procedures. In general, the mastectomy procedures are performed to the treatment or prevention of breast cancer. But there is an exception. Mastectomy is performed due to gynecomastia. Gynecomastia is nothing but a condition of enlargement of male breast. So whenever mastectomy is performed due to gynecomastia, it is given by the code 19300. Apart from that, generally the mastectomy procedures are performed either for the treatment or prevention of breast cancer. Now coming to the next code 19301. It describes a partial mastectomy where only a portion of ipsilateral breast tissue is removed. It can be either lumpectomy, tilectomy, quadrantectomy or segmentectomy. Lumpectomy is nothing but removal of lump. Lump can is nothing but a tumor or a cyst or abnormal tissue. Removal of lump which is an abnormal tissue. It can be either tumor or cyst. Lump ectomy. Ectomy means surgical removal. So lumpectomy means remo surgical removal of lump which is either a tumor or cyst. The next is tilectomy. Tilect is nothing but lump. So tilectomy is also nothing but lumpectomy. Tilectomy is a synonym of lumpectomy. It also indicates removal of tumor or cyst. The next is quadrantectomy. Quadrant is nothing but quadrantectomy is nothing but surgical removal of quadrant of breast. The next is segmentectomy. Segmentectomy is nothing but surgical removal of defined portion of any organ or gland. So segmentectomy of breast. All these things they are included in the partial mastectomy which is given by the code 19301. When a complete axillary lymphadenectomy. Axillary lymphadenectomy or ag is nothing but an axillary dissection. Is a procedure where surgeon dissects out the lymph nodes within the axilla end block. So whenever a complete axillary lymphadenectomy is performed in addition to partial mastectomy, report it with 19302. Next is code 19303. It describes total removal of ipsilateral. Ipsilateral is nothing but same side. Ipsilateral breast tissue with or without removal of skin or nipples for example nipple sparing for treatment or removal of breast cancer the code 19303 does not include excision of pectoral muscles and or or axillary and internal mammary lymph nodes code 19303 does not include the excision of pectoral muscles and axillary or internal mammary lymph nodes Whenever total mastectomy is performed for gynecomastia, you need to report with the code 19300. Next, coming to codes 19305, 306 and 307, they describe radical procedures that include total removal of ipsilateral breast tissue, including the nipple for treatment of breast cancer and excision of pectoral muscles and or, or axillary and internal mammary lymph nodes. And in order to report bilateral procedures for 19300, 301, 302, 303, 305, 306 and 307, report modifier 50 along with the procedure code. Now coming to the various CPTs. The first CPT is 19300 which is nothing but mastectomy for gynecomastia. The next is 19301 which is nothing but Mastectomy, partial. Example, lymphectomy, tilectomy, quadrantectomy or segmentectomy, etc. The next is 19302. Mastectomy with axillary 
lymphadenectomy mastectomy partial along with axillary lymphadenectomy is given by 19302 the next is 19303 mastectomy simple complete the next cpt is 19305 which is indicated which indicates mastectomy radical including pectoral muscles axillary lymph nodes the next is 19306 it indicates mastectomy radical including pectoral muscles axillary and internal mammary lymph nodes urban type operation whenever mastectomy radical urban type operation is performed you need to report it with 19306 the next cpt is 19307 mastectomy modified radical including axillary lymph nodes with or without pectoralis minor muscle but excluding pectoralis major muscle now let us discuss an example meredith has breast cancer on left side diagnosed by an incisional biopsy performed last week today she is having radical mastectomy urban type what is the appropriate CPT? Here, the patient has breast cancer on left side and she is having radical mastectomy urban type. The appropriate CPT is 19306 along with LT modifier to indicate the left side of breast. 19306 LT mastectomy radical including pectoralis muscles, axillary, internal mammary lymph nodes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.